After spending 12 years as an assistant at AIC, Army, and Canisius, Trevor Large is finally in charge of a college hockey program. After so many years as an assistant, how meaningful was it to finally get the head coaching job here at Canisius this past offseason? It was great. It was uh, an emotional day for me, my family. Um, it was great to be around uh, people that I know. I've been at Canisius or had been at Canisius for three years prior to. So there was a lot of celebration team-wise with my family um, and in and around the program. It was, it was a... There were special moments for sure. Large took over for Dave Smith, who departed in the offseason to become the new head coach at RPI. And despite the change at the top, the Griffs really haven't missed a beat. It was really important for us. Uh, the chemistry from our team uh, was a huge part of our success last year. And um, carrying over that similar culture that we had and sustaining that culture uh, it's, it's allowed us to be pretty successful this year so far. So having someone that was familiar with us just allowed us to pick up right where we left off. And uh, Coach Sarge has been a huge part of that. Turnover, shot oh. and a goal right between the legs, but the bad turnover. That's Mike Sabatini in the lineup tonight. Sabatini with you had the all goal your forwards your returning walk. from last year to this year. That certainly can make a, uh, a first year head coach look pretty good, especially being the top scoring team in the league again. Yeah, that, that, that was probably maybe the easiest uh, part of the transition was we returned so much. Um, the big question was how are we going to place Charles um, in terms of offense and up front. Uh, with guys like Ryan Schmelzer and Dale McLaughlin and, and Hutch and Felix and basically everybody's back and we added some really good players there as well with, with Grant and Matt Long. Um, be, because we were able to do that, it has made my job a lot easier. Our guys know who I am as a person and how I coach and they know how we play. And uh, I think it was, it was easy early for them to understand uh, how we wanted to play. We didn't have to teach them much about who we are. The Golden Griffins won the regular season title last year, but lost in the conference semis to Robert Morris. It's a loss that still sticks with this group. It definitely leaves a sour taste in your mouth and it was motivation. We thought we had something pretty special last year and uh, as soon as it was over, we couldn't wait to get back here and uh, certainly still in our mind last year and we want to we wanna change the outcome that we had last year. We set a high standard here the last couple years, uh, so I think everyone who comes in and who's here now should expect to get to Rochester and compete, you know. It's, it's a fight to get to Rochester to get to the Final Four of our league. Um, we want a better outcome. We know that it's going to require, uh, as soon as the puck drops, you, you have to be ready in that environment when it's one and done. And uh, our guys want that challenge again. The challenge right now is this weekend in Rochester against a Tiger team the Griffs expect to be back on their game. It's always a fun one against RIT. You know, you know you're going to get against them every time. They're going to be in your face, come right at you, and you know they might have some more motivation, kind of dropping a few the last couple uh, couple of weeks here. But um, you know, Niagara's always been our main rival, but we kind of see RIT as a rival too. So uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere, and like I said, they're going to come right at us, and it's going to be some great hockey. If you think any RIT game is going to be easy, they never are, nor any team in the league. Um, so we need to be we need to be focused. We need to be ready at puck drop because they're going to be hungry.